Hey guys, it's Britt, and today I want to have a discussion about audiobooks. Now, this is my Kindle Fire, and uh, this thing goes with me everywhere. I love it, especially when I have to go on long car rides or when I have to talk to people, and uh, it helps me avoid talking to people. <laughs> yeah, so I love my Kindle Fire. And uh, I mostly love it because I can carry my audiobooks or my ebooks wherever I go. Usually, when I read ebooks, I prefer my Kindle keyboard just because it's easier on my eyes. But audiobooks, for me at least, I don't know if it's the same for you guys or if you like audiobooks or have ever read an audiobook. Or listened to an audiobook, I guess. But for me, an audiobook can really change how I feel about a story. Uh, and sometimes it can make or break a story for me. Uh, for example, we all know I have an attachment to my beloved Raven Boys as Steve Donahue puts it. Um, I read The Raven Boys. Uh, like, the first... I read... The Raven Boys, and then I read The Dream Thieves. And it, during my first series read-through. And... Then, once I came to the third book in the series, I decided to listen to the audiobook because I had a lot going on and I just wanted to listen to it. And you guys, that that moment was the moment when uh, these characters were no longer words on a page, but people painted in my mind. Because Will Patton, who narrates the Raven Cycle, brought so much life to these characters. And finally, I, I, I had connected with Ronan, but I had really, up until that point, not really connected very well with the other characters until I, he I heard this on audiobook. Uh, Will Patton does a great job. Uh, he gives a distinct voice for each character, so each character has individuality, and I think that is fantastic. But uh, on the other side of that, uh, if I don't like a narrator, that will really impact on how I feel about the book, and it's one of the reasons why I'm so picky about my audiobooks, because the narrator for me is, is key. Uh, so an example of this, just to reverse the rules a little bit, was uh, I lent... I don't have the book with me because I lent it to my grandmother, but it is The Bear and the Nightingale, and I had originally pick this up on audiobook and the the narrator was lovely but I really had trouble understanding the Russian accent and so that just it wasn't gonna work for me but I heard that Indy Insomniac really fell in love with this book and so I picked up a physical copy and, man, that story was amazing. Uh, another example of great narrators is the Song of Ice and Fire series by uh, Roy Detrus, I believe. Uh, he does a great job, and he also does his best to give each character a distinct voice. And with a series as long as A Game of Thrones or Song of Ice and Fire, 
uh, audiobooks can really help you go through them quickly. Um, and uh, he's a great narrator, and he puts so much energy into each performance. And he, if if you've never listened to the us uh, the Song of Ice and Fire series, I I recommend that you at least if you have Overdrive, which is a library system, you should at least listen to a Game of Thrones or the World of Ice and Fire, which is what I am doing right now. I have the physical copy, but with a book that massive, it, it's a very large book. Like, it's essentially picture textbook, and that's what this book is. And it's very difficult for me to hold, and uh, I just kind of leaf through it. Uh, from time to time, especially when I'm, like, thinking about theories or trying to connect things involving that in take place in Game of Thrones, that's really helpful. And now that I'm listening to it, it forces me to sit down and listen to the book all the way through, and I'm having a great time. So, how do you guys feel about audiobooks? Because I love audiobooks. Uh, I can knit while I read, and with... The, these are size 50. US 50, uh, is it... What is it? What? Is this 25 millimeter? Yeah. 25 millimeter size 50 needles uh not that that has anything to do with audiobooks but uh yeah i can get so many things done uh in the background uh i can put on a story that i know really really well like the raven boys and i can just have that on in the background and i can uh bright and have something on in the background because I'm kind of someone who if I'm home alone a lot I I, I need some noise to just help me ease my anxiety I don't know it works for whatever reason but how do you guys feel about audiobooks can an audiobook make or break your experience uh, let me know and we can talk about it in the comments below also if you have recommendations for audiobooks that you want me to check out, uh, please let me know. And until next time, guys, I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.